If your parents are in shock, tell them, you loved me yesterday before I told you. I haven't changed since then. I'm still the same person that I was yesterday. And who exactly is that person? Good. <laughs> You're actually reading it. I figured you'd burn it by now. You know, destroyed the evidence. Well, I thought I'd at least skim it before my parents come tomorrow. So you're gonna tell him you're gay? Absolutely not. So you're Oliver Fish's parents? As far as we know. <laughs> but you're not supposed to be here until tomorrow. Well, we couldn't wait. Not after we found out that our son is a hero. And since you know our travel plans, you must know our Oliver. I'm learning more about him every day. You know, some people have it so easy. There's actually a guy in this book whose parents threw him a party when he came out. Like a debutante. Yes. Nice. <laughs> well, who knows? Your parents might... No, no, they won't. That's something that Kyle's parents would do. How did Kyle's parents react when he told them? Uh, he didn't tell them. They actually told him. They outed Kyle to himself. You're kidding me. No, I'm serious. His parents, when he was growing up, would invite all of their gay friends over all the time just to show him they were cool with it. And he still didn't tell them? No. And then one day they sat him down and they said, we know that you're gay. We've known since you were a kid. We loved you then and we love you now. Wow, I think I want Kyle's parents. Yeah, tell me about it. Have you talked to him lately? No. You know, Kyle actually wants nothing to do with me. He's seeing a new guy now who takes up all of his time, which is great. <laughs> and I mean that. You know, Kyle got really screwed up for a while, and he's finally getting it together and moving on with his life, and I couldn't be happier for him. Well, maybe you should move on, too. Think what it would be like not to have any secrets from your family anymore. Um, that would be great, but the thought of actually saying the words... Hey, you don't have to decide right this second. After all, you still have a day before your parents get here. How do you know our son, Oliver? I'm his roommate. Oh, oh you must be Christian. That's right, that's right, Mrs. Fish. Hi, yeah. Mr. Fish. Yeah, please, call me George. Okay. And I'm Barbara. I should have guessed who you were right away from your muscles. Excuse me? Well, Oliver says you work out a lot. He wasn't exaggerating, was he? Of course, we realize there's more to you than that. We can't wait to get to know you better. Maybe uh, tonight, over dinner. How about after you show us your apartment? Right, uh, the apartment. Yeah. Um, you know, we weren't expecting you until tomorrow. The place is a mess. That's all right. Yeah, we really, we want to surprise all of you. Yeah, but maybe I should give him a quick call. I'm sure he'd want to pick up the dirty clothes off the floor. Dirty clothes, that's fine. At home, his room is so neat, that's... <laughs> I don't care if the place is a disaster area. I can't wait one more second to see my boy. Christian, lead the way. You know, you must be really sick of hearing me talk about my parents all the time and Kyle and all this gay stuff. I'm really sorry. Oliver, I still care about you. Yeah, I still feel terrible for the way I treated you, for all the lies. Hey, we, we've talked about this. <sighs> but still, I wish I could... What? Make it up to me? Yeah, you know, right now I'd settle for being able to look you in the eyes and not feel like a complete jackass. Are you getting some kind of guilt trip from me? No. Do you want to know why? Because I'm moving on. And I've forgiven you. Now all you have to do is forgive yourself. Yeah, but... No, not only for what you did to me, but for making yourself so unhappy for so long. And how am I supposed to do that? Mm, I have no idea. <laughs> But maybe you can start by doing fewer things to make yourself feel guilty. Like hiding the truth from your parents. Hi, guys. Hey. hey. We've got company. Surprise. Surprise. Uh, Mom, Dad, you're here. Yes, we are. <laughs> I ran into Oliver's parents at the diner a day early. No kidding. Um, what happened to coming tomorrow? Well, we couldn't wait another minute. You look thin. Have you been eating? Yes, Mom, I'm eating. Don't lie to your mother. Your father and I want to take you all out to dinner tonight. You, Christian, and Layla. And when do we get to meet that paragon? Um, 
Well, she's right here. Mom, Dad, this is Layla, the girl I told you about. Oh, hello. It's so nice to finally meet you in person. So you're Layla? Yes, I am. Is something wrong? No, not at all. We just didn't realize. Realize what? That you're, you know, black. Hmm. What difference does it make that Layla's African American? No difference. We're just surprised. You should have told us more about Layla. I told you lots of things about Layla, like how she started her own company. Underwear, wasn't it? And I told you how she used to be an actress. You did. But you're not anymore, right? Layla works with Oliver at the police station now. Of course. Well, you seem very accomplished, Layla. I hope I didn't offend you before. It really doesn't make any difference to us what color you are. It's like that saying, the heart wants what it wants. No, it, it's fine. You should have seen the look on my mom's face the first time I brought home a, a white guy. <laughs> well, things are very uh, different for young people than when my wife and I were growing up. Kids didn't live together the way they do today. I mean, not unless they're married. <laughs> We're just so glad Oliver's finally found someone he can be himself with. Someone so lovely. Thank you. So, first things first. Oliver, you can give us the tour, and then we can all go to dinner. And Layla, I want you to tell me absolutely everything. Mom. How you met, what church you go Mom. to. Mom. How he asked you to be his girlfriend. Okay, Layla's not my girlfriend. I... We broke up. You broke up? I would have told you sooner, but I really didn't know how. Son, I mean, you know, you can tell us anything. Why don't Layla and I give you all some space? Uh, yes. Please don't. I, I would really appreciate it if you guys stayed. I must say I'm shocked. You never even hinted that you and Layla were having problems. Yeah, well, there's a lot I've left out for a, a long time. Really? Well, why is that? Is there some reason that you didn't feel you could be straight with us? <laughs> Dad, um, I... The, the truth is, I'm just not the right person for Oliver. You raised a wonderful man. Oliver is a sweet, bright, amazing guy. Yeah, and did you know that this morning he got a commendation for bravery in the line of duty? Yeah, yeah, the police department called us. That's why we had to get here so soon. We, we are so proud of you. We're all proud of Oliver. And whoever winds up with you will be incredibly lucky. George and I have always known how blessed we are to have a son like Oliver. And I don't mean to pry, but Layla, if you feel the same way, why aren't you the lucky one? <clears throat> you can talk to us. Oliver, you know I have some experience in dealing with young people and relationship issues, and maybe I can help. You know, I, uh, I don't think you can this time, Dad. Why don't you give your parents a chance? Hmm? We might surprise you. <sighs> okay. Um, there's a little more to it that Layla didn't say. She left out some stuff to protect me. Protect you? From what? Um... I didn't want to tell you what had happened because I thought that it might change your opinion of me. And that you might not... <sighs> this is really hard. Maybe it would be best if we all sat down. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Here goes. Mom. Dad, um... Wait, I, I'm just sitting on something. What is this?